YouTube family. All right, YouTube, we are back with another one. And we are going to go into Fox News Network and see what is still going on with these people want to sue our governor for dropping off these 50 people in Martha's Vineyard. <laughs> Just 50. Five zero. Or the young lady in the video said it was 48 people. Oh. So when you round up, so it does they, equal 50. So they rounded up, okay. Yeah, I think, yeah, uh, they, yeah they, they rounded it up. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, I just, I, I don't get it, but. You would never get it. All right, you ready? Mm -hmm. Let's get it. We begin with record-breaking numbers on the Biden border crisis. Agents now reporting two million encounters with illegal immigrants so far this fiscal year, more than five times the amount they had when President Trump was in office. But that's not all. We have also just learned agents have arrested 78 suspected terrorists at the border, which is more than triple the previous five years combined. Wow. Oh, but Democrats aren't talking about that at all. Oh, no. They're preoccupied instead with the 48 <laughs> migrants that went to the posh and ritzy island of Martha's Vineyard. And now, Sheriff Javier Salazar, a Democrat in Texas, is launching an investigation into those flights. But Governor DeSantis quickly pointed out the hypocrisy in that. Watch. I believe that they were preyed upon. Somebody came from out of state, preyed upon these people, um, lured them with promises of, of a better life, which is what they were absolutely looking for, to just be uh, exploited and uh, hoodwinked into making this trip to Florida <laughs> and then onward to Martha's Vineyard for what I believe to be nothing more than political posturing uh, to make a point. Yet 50 uh, die in Texas in a trailer because they were being neglected. Was there a freak out about that? Nope. No, there wasn't. Nope. You've mm -hmm. had criminal aliens get across that southern border and victimize <laughs> Americans, killing some, raping some. Was there any type of outrage about that? No, it's only when 50 get put into Martha's Vineyard, which wasn't saying they didn't want this. They said they wanted this. They said they were a sanctuary jurisdiction, but that was all virtue signaling. And not only did they not welcome them, they deported them the next day with the National Guard. <laughs> Give me a break. Give me a break indeed, Jared. So two million across the border, 78 on the terrorist. Where is the outrage? But 48 in Martha's Vineyard. And all of a sudden, Democrats seem to wake up. Yeah, well, first of all, I, I personally watch what's happening, and it's very hard to see at the southern border. I, I also, we have to remember these are human beings, they're people, so seeing yeah. them being used as political pawns one way or the other is, is very uh, troubling to me. But I, I do think that if you go back to the time under President Trump, uh, we had the lowest border crossings in history when he turned over the administration, and uh, the border was secure, was very safe, and, and people don't talk enough about the fact that these people are lured in uh, to these journeys by the coyotes, they're paying a lot of money. Uh, I think 80% of women are sexually assaulted along the way. Wow. They come into America. They don't have papers. Many of them are exploited, put into human trafficking and, and modern slavery in a lot of ways. So it's a very sad situation. And I think the policies that President Trump was trying to put forward on figuring out how to create a secure border, a merit-based immigration system, having rule and, and law and order uh, were very important policies that unfortunately uh, was just totally disregarded and reversed day one. And now we're seeing the unfortunate uh, humanitarian catastrophe that comes uh, because of that. And that's such a great point, you know, these, these millions of migrants that are being lured by the criminal cartels, and yet Democrats say that DeSantis lured migrants to Martha's Vineyard. That's why it, it's so laughable, but really difficult to stomach um, against the backdrop of a humanitarian cat catastrophe, to your point, which is, why, um, which is why this is so heartbreaking. And I wonder your thoughts on the argument that while this administration pur purports to be compassionate, they are anything but. It's frankly cruel dismantling mm. President Trump's policies and their lack yes. of any type of strength at the border now is frankly cruel. Yeah, well, actually for me, a lot about what I wrote about in my book was my journey from being on the Upper East Side of New York and being in the echo chamber of the media and maybe a, a little bit more liberal echo chamber and then they would say the things like the wall were racist and xenophobic and, you know, as I traveled the country and I understood, you know, what was really happening, I realized that a lot of these policies are just common sense. It's about protecting American sovereignty. Uh, the wall is, is, is actually a very fundamental thing. The Border Patrol agents, it would give them uh, a lot of big, uh, big uh, operating leverage in order to uh, do their jobs better. It prevented a lot of drugs. It prevented a lot of uh, criminals from coming into the country. And President Trump built 470 miles of wall 
uh, during wow. his time because it was so successful. Wow. The migratory yeah. pattern started to change. And what happened was is he'd ordered another 230 uh, miles of wall that was paid for, was going to be built, which the Biden administration has just been sitting there uh, squandering. So if a lot of that would be happening, American lives would be saved, and a lot of these people would be deterred from coming, uh, which I think would, would prevent a lot of death and it would prevent a lot of uh, yeah. sexual exploitation. Yeah. Gosh, and that's so hard to hear, Kaylee. Now, against the current backdrop of anything but, of anything but saving American lives or acknowledgement of the lives being lost because of the drugs pouring across the border and also the lives and security of those migrants as well. Exactly. Um, you want to talk about a humanitarian catastrophe? Well, let's talk about it. Um, first, I saw the CNN headline and I just had to laugh. And it's a quote from a resident of Martha's Vineyard. They enriched us. Migrants 44 hour visit leaves an indelible mark on Martha's Vineyard. It was 44 hours because these migrants were shipped out of Martha's Vineyard. In it, there is an account of a woman who sat down with a migrant who said, uh, the migrant said, let me show you a video on my phone. And the migrant shows this video of her walking through the jungle, you know, hazardous terrain alongside other migrants. And she said, this one died, part of the original party, and he died, and this one died. The mud is like up to here to them, and you see that they are literally unable to lift their legs out of the mud. This is a migrant pointing to the other migrants who have died. Oh. Why are they dying? Because of President Joe Biden not looking into a camera and saying, do not come. Do not make the dangerous journey. When has he... Okay, so why is that not being mentioned that so many are dying just to get here? This Just the trip alone. Ain't nothing being done. I mean, we talk, well, been done. we talk about it. Everybody's talking about it, but, you know, it's, it's and I understand it, it's, you get the laughs off of it, but like she just said, you got people dying. You got people dying. And nobody's saying anything. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's no outrage. You know what I'm saying? It's no gathering of, you know... The Democrats and the Republicans getting together trying to figure out something. Nothing's being done. Okay, so what was done with the trailer when, when those people died? Those women and children as well, they're just they're just as important when they were in the back of that, that tractor trailer truck in Texas. Why aren't their lives important? I mean, if we, if we consider if we consider the whole picture of it, they're, they're, they were people too. Uh, I just think this 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 border thing should have been done a whole lot better. Yeah, it could have been um, a lot better. They don't care, you know. It's it's, a, mm -mm. it's the Democrats, you know. Uh, really, at the end of the day, we should have more um, Republicans after this. <laughs> think I about think we it. just need more compassion. I mean, I get I get too. the compassion, man, but it's like it's like they not it's just it's, it's about the next vote. Maybe I was reading one of the comments too. Um, on this particular video, I think it was, and it was just saying how, let's say somebody gets off an airplane here without a passport or, you know, documentation to get in the United States, they're going to, TSA is going to like tackle them down or whatever. They're going to get arrested for trying to get into the United States, you know, off an airplane, <laughs> off an airplane. So, yeah. <laughs> what makes this any different? You said that. You said TSA take them down, right? I, yeah. thought about, I thought about Walmart, you know. You know. <laughs> <He's so stupid. laughs> They'll let you walk around Walmart all day. But when you go out there and do it, that product, they got some tackle, tackle me down, tackle boys. You. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's the same. But, 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 but seriously, it's, it's crazy. You, can, you can't get off an airplane at any airport and not have proper documentation to get back in the United States. Or you're going to get tackled. And arrested, but you can come across the border free and clear when people are doing it the right way. I, I just don't get it. He said that that would be the responsible thing to do, because <clears throat> while Governor DeSantis is sending mar migrants to Martha's Vineyard, Joe Biden is sending them through the Darien Gap, a 66 mile stretch of jungle where most people don't make it out alive. Yeah. This is a humanitarian catastrophe, mm. which is why you no longer have DHS publishing the number of migrant deaths on their website, and this is where GOP, this is what you need to be talking about. There yeah. are people dying every day. Yeah. I watched a two-year-old get swept out of her mother's arms and die in a river trying to cross the southern border. Wow. This is happening. We are the party of compassion. Joe Biden, until you look in a camera and do what the Guatemalan president said, who said you're sending the wrong message, until you listen to the Mexican president, who said you're the migrant president, you're not compassionate, you're not going to own that word, and your party's not going to own that word. Oh, Harris. I mean, that, that, that's one story of millions, yeah. and that's absolutely heartbreaking. And the worst part about it is that it's preventable. To your point, to your exactly. point, it's absolutely preventable if this administration would acknowledge and do something about it.
I do want to say this. We are a nation of compassion. It's not just a party thing. We are a nation. We have clothed, fed, and fought for more people on this planet than any other country. Now, the White House doesn't seem to remember that or know who we are. But that's the thing. That's what I'm saying. If they pull together the Democrats, Republicans, and the White House and figure something out, man, and come up with a solution instead of fighting one another, yeah. trying to it's prove each other wrong, that's yeah. the problem, man. You know, and, and it's sad because it's just like she just said, I didn't know they were stuck in mud like that, mm -hmm. you know, traveling you like that. that you know, you that's good that. to hear, man. It's sad. You know, they actually trying to get from another country just to come over here. And then the jungle. Dying. The kids dying. It's Coming crazy. through a jungle. That's crazy, man. We are in the present, but that is who we are. That is the reason why I spent hours just recently with Texas DPS, who Governor Abbott, as he ticks off the rest of, of the country, sending and busing and doing everything else, that's his last resort. Because he's, he has spent a billion dollars of his own state's taxpayer money trying to keep his citizens intact and keep our sovereignty intact at the border. It's a line. And the demarcation <coughs> of that line are the items that those who come out of these jungles and everywhere else and only have just the Rio Grande if they don't drown, on it, drown in it. Every single day we were there. People die in that river every day they die. There's a memorial for Bishop Evans, the member of the National Guard. It's right at the water's edge. Mm -hmm. Died saving someone trying to get out of that river and come from Mexico not long ago. Wow. So you want to talk about humanity? We are a nation of compassion, and this isn't how we want to be represented. Mm -hmm. Trust me, when you go there, it doesn't feel like you're in America. The Texas flag is as big as this two-story studio. We don't even have a flag on our side because we don't need one. They come. They do whatever. And Kamala Harris said it. She said the, the quiet part out loud. She said, do not come. And it was an egg timer's worth of time before the administration said, no, you got to clean that up. Mm -hmm. Jen Psaki, everybody was, no, that's not what she meant. We don't have a process for people to do this safely yep. and for us to keep our sovereignty intact. And we're until a process, we do, man. they come will on, come. Man. They will die coming. Mm. All right, going back to those winners on Martha's Vineyard and that island there. So they boasted that they were a sanctuary city and, and a All place are of welcome refuge. here, Emily. All are welcome here, those big signs in front of their gates. Uh, uh, uh. And then they lose their minds after 44 hours on 48 migrants. How is that hypocrisy not all over the place? Why is it only here that we see it? Uh, and, and it's interesting because Charlemagne the God, uh, Harris and I both know him, we both interviewed him, and he came out and said that was actually a really brilliant tactic by Ron DeSantis, and that yes, it is, it is yeah. cruel, it is, it is inhumane to use people as political pawns uh, when their lives are the ones that are being deeply affected, but it just goes to show the utter hypocrisy with which these people are operating. They don't really want sanctuary cities. They don't really want sanctuary states. It is the ultimate NIMBY issue. And, you know, you talk about processes, uh, the, the ultimate abdication here is they have abandoned all of the processes in Congress that could streamline things, that could signal to the world the kind of people that we want to come and work here, the kind of people that would make America a better place. And, and having a uniform process that allows good people to come here and work hard and better their lives and better the country. We don't have that. What they're doing, so Elizabeth Warren is squawking <laughs> that sending 48 people to Martha's Vineyard is inhumane. Oh. It's a beautiful place, and it is lovely this time of year. It is far from cruel and inhumane, <laughs> but allowing wow. people to pour over the border and die, where coyotes are Ooh. the only ones who in, are enriched, that is cruel, that is that inhumane, is. and that is what has to change. Actual coyotes. Yes. The ones that eat you. Well, those as well. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's what they're <laughs> no, facing. Too. But you know the other thing, Kennedy, too, you, you talk about the process now. Border Patrol is trying. They can't process everybody coming across the border. Mm -hmm. They don't have enough people. The system is oh, set yeah, against no. them as well. Yeah, yeah it absolutely. is. And the cartels are getting paid in advance. So whether those people live or die along the way, they got their cash. We're complicit in that. We may as well pay the cartels ourselves. The Biden administration hmm. is. Hey, everyone. I'm Jesus. Emily Campagno. Catch. Oh. <sighs> Wow, I mean, you 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 think she said they, they so they, she said they're in mud. They're in mud up to where I guess the lady was showing on the camera up to here. So she, it was kind of well, high. They got that bus. It looked kind of clean though. Well, they had been in Texas already. Okay. Those migrants had, but you don't. You only see the video when the migrants get close to the 
border of Texas and Mexico. They ain't show the whole thing. You man. don't see when they come from Venezuela through the forest. You don't see that need to be how shown. they drown. That, that, that little in video the Rio she Grand. took, she need to leak that, that. Leak that to the public, man. So you don't that's crazy. see that part. They need to leak the video. Leak the videos. They only show them. Well, the videos need to be leaked out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That way they can see what these people are going through. I'm going to try to look up that forest. That, that's that crazy, man. Up, not, you know, that forest that she was talking about. But the Rio Grande, I mean, if you, if you can't swim, babies can't swim. Children can't swim through that. Mm-hmm. So imagine a parent holding a child trying to swim through that. Yeah. That's the forest. Lot. What's in the forest? Like things that can eat people. You get bit by what? Certain snakes. You just die within minutes. But we're not talking about that part. It's bigger than just an open border. Okay, but other than that, um Wow. I I just feel that that right there is insane. You don't think about that part. Alright, you too, family. All right, don't forget to like and subscribe and continue to check us out. Peace.